out there, how are you doing? Right, let's just see how far it is from here to there. Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, on my way to office this morning, it's a bit early, nice and crisp again. Uh, we've all seen what's happening in the world of boxing, haven't we? Hey, they want to put a. Uh, they want to put boxing on, don't they? In Eddie Hearn's old house that he grew up in. Uh, is it a good idea? Well, they're saying that 50 people can go, but he's saying 90. So I don't know. But where I'm going now is I'm going to see how far it is from where I live. Steffi Bowles. Awesome. Can't be going back and forth with him. He's running that many accounts on social media and we have proof now. He's got a loose lips, hasn't he? He tells everybody his business. Now, this is how I look at it. You're going to have to face me, Steffi, sooner or later. Otherwise, I'll probably have to come to your house with a camera. But then that means somebody holding camera, wouldn't it? And I don't want to do that. So I work alone. So my advice is simple. Get Mick Whale to referee it and we'll have a knock on on local field. What do you reckon, Steffi? There's no reason why we can't. John Fury and Mickey Theo, they had theirs were a bit political, one of them got everybody and the dad getting involved because they all want to get some money out of the job as well as give something to charity which is a good thing so you've got to respect John Fury and Mickey Theo for that but it never happened did it? probably because it's 200 and odd mile away and uh, we're not 200 and odd mile away are we? I mean, I'm nearly at yours now and I've not done a mile so no reason why the, you can't get in touch with Mick Whale, he's a mutual friend of yours and mine, he's a close friend of yours and a close friend of mine. You know, Mick's son Dempsey Whale, you'll manage him. And I signed Josh for Dennis Hobson, who had a contract with you and you handed the contract back. They want, a, they want long left on it anyway, in fact I think it might have even run out, I'm not sure. But it doesn't matter anyway, that's all water under the bridge, innit? But I told you not to get personal, didn't I? And you're, you're triggering off things in me that I can't control, so the only way to do it is we need to have a knock on field, don't we? Need to have a knock on local field and get at it, and then it's done, then, innit? You know, if not, and we can't sort that, the alternative would be not for me to spoil my channel. The alternative would be for me to go on another channel. I've already been asked to go on that Boominator. I think that's a heavy D, is it? I've been asked to go on there. I can go on there. I can tell a great story, but when I tell a story, it's the truth, isn't it? And you won't want that, but who knows? I might just do that, but so I'm going to give you an opportunity. Stop hiding behind people's skirts. Just turn up. Let's have a knock. As Sam Sheedy says, let's have a knock on back garden. Oh, we can do whatever, can't we? But I don't want to get into a situation where I'm raging like John Fury and all that because I turn up for my battles. You know, I turned up to face Scott Brunt, didn't I, when people were saying, Brave you, Porky. Sometimes you just have to turn up, don't you? Nobody can beat me any uglier than I am. So, teeth knocked out, cheekbones, ears bitten off. Doesn't matter, does it? It's a fight. It's a fight, Ernie. It's a fight. That's all it is. It's a fight, isn't it? Somebody wins, somebody loses. But we can all sleep at night then, can't we? So, we're nearly here now, Steffi. No way, I'm not going to knock on your door. Oh, you've got missus and kids in the house. But get in your lane, you, in the morning. 
back up. But we've got to sort this, mate, because it's personal, isn't it, now? You know, it can't... can't go on like this. I'm trying to think if it's that way or that way. It's this way, isn't it? Oh. I used to live around here. Well, let's get at it. Make way a little bit ref. He'll, con he'll show fair play. Now, you had an opportunity when Mick, me and Mick were in that restaurant and you pulled up, or cafe is it, at Manvers, you pulled up. But you had your missus and your kids and you could have sent them back, couldn't you? And we would have, could have had a knock on back at cafe, couldn't you? You didn't want to do it then. So now I'm going to have to shame you into it because we're going to have to get this sorted. So I want all my followers, and there's not that many really, follow me. There's a lot that watch but they don't subscribe. I don't know why. So I put my heart and soul into this. Right. There you go. 3.1 mile. 3.1 mile. That's that's just that's where you are from me, Steffi. 3.1 mile. Not 228 mile, is it from John Fury to Mickey Theo, 3.1 mile. So, balls in your court. Uh, you keep causing problems for me behind the scenes. I mean, pff, come on, Steffi. Elim, emailing me sponsors, telling them I'm an ex drug addict, an ex criminal, and you know, I went to prison for nearly killing a policeman and all that. Fancy doing that. Fancy saying that personal that isn't it? You're trying to block me aren't you like you tried to block Dennis didn't you? I've got my wrong way now. I'm in hillbilly country here aren't I? You tried to block Dennis didn't you? Block booking arenas and stuff like that and that's what goes on in boxing isn't it? Is it that way? No. Uh, that don't bother me Steffi that. It's Dennis isn't it? It's Dennis's boxing business. I'm only lucky, aren't I? I know my place, don't I, up there? I'm, I'm there to learn, aren't I? But I'll be spending my wings soon, so... But I'm there to learn and absorb, because I'm a brain thief. But the point I want to make is, you've had ample opportunity to meet me and save face amongst all your people in your gym. Because they'll all be saying, why don't you just go meet him and knock, knock him out? You're an ex-boxer. This one, innit? Go knock him out! Get it over and done with, shut him up! So why don't you? You're the ex-boxer. Well, I don't know if I don't know if anybody's seen that fight we have here, Khan. I don't want to call that boxing, I call it backpedalling. But you don't need to be worried about saying your hands, my hands are lethal weapons and all this, you not lose your board license. You can always put a board license in somebody else's name. Come and see me. And we can do the do, can't we? Win or lose. We can go on the booze then, like we used to do. But it's got to be sorted, you know that, don't you? You don't need to get other people involved and all do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go down that way. Not my thing, that. But we have got to get at it. It's got to come out my system. Because it's not good, this. Now, me putting this video out now, might be used against me in evidence. Well, I don't think it will, but what I want to make is this, Steffi. We need to get at it. So, like I've just said, all my followers, get to eating Steffi Ball. Let's get me and him meeting. Otherwise, I might need to go on a channel and say what I've got to say. We'll leave it at that, eh? All right? So you have a nice day, Steffi. But me and you are never going to be mates because there's lines you don't cross, isn't there? There's a few little things you've done, you know, that are bad. You know what you've done. You know, you shouldn't tell people when you do it. You shouldn't tell people because they tell other people. It gets back to me. It gets, it gets me upset. So, I'm not the hardest man in the world, but I do turn up for my battles. So, Alright, so peace out Steffi, keep on, it's Andrew anyway isn't it, your name's not even Steffi is it, it's Andrew, my name's not Porky, it's Russell, alright, your name's Andrew, 
Your name's Andrew Bullcroft, that's your name. Not this Steffi Ball thing. With his village people, Tash. What's this here? Fucking Roach. Cat's eyes removed, what's that mean? Oh, God. They keep gritting roads, don't they? I'm sure they're doing it to scratch the bottom end of my car. So, alright. So that's it. So, so up to you now, Steffi. Get in touch with Mick Whale, you've got his number. Um, Mick will come pick you up and Mick can pick where it happens at. 